I sat all morning in the college sick bay, counting bells, nailing classes to a close. At two o'clock, our neighbors drove me home. In the porch, I met my father crying. He'd always taken funerals in his stride, and Big Jim Evans sang. The baby cooed and laughed and rocked the pram. When I came in, and I was embarrassed by old men standing up to shake my hand and tell me they were sorry for my trouble. Whispers and form strangers. I was the eldest away from school as my mother held my hand in hers and coughed out angry, tearless sighs. At 10 o'clock, the ambulance arrived with the corpse stanched and bandaged by the nurses. Next morning, I went up into the room. Snowdrops and candles soothed the bedside. I saw him for the first time in six weeks, paler now, wearing a poppy bruise on his left temple. He lay in the four-foot box as in his cot. No goddess scars, the bumper knocked him clear. A four-foot box, a foot for every year. <laughs>